Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel that covers opportunities in the altcoin space. Today we're going to be taking a look at NEO. We've had a lot of green come in in the past couple of weeks and I think we've got some room to run. But before we get into the video, I've got a special announcement to make. I've put together a free mini course to help those of you who are interested in learning how to do what I do. The course covers basic but need to know strategies for long term success. It also includes a breakdown of what tools I use to break down my charts and how I make sense of them. If that sounds like something you guys are interested in, head over to mycryptojournal.com to sign up for the course. The link will be in the description down below. I've also started a private telegram group that is focused around providing charts and breaking them down. I also do a lot of follow up charts to the videos I make on YouTube. Over here we have INS. I posted a chart saying that INS is breaking significant support here and looks like it wants to retest the bottom. As we can see today, we can see how that turned out. And I've also got a ton of other charts that I don't post anywhere else. So if this is something you guys are interested in, you guys can click on the link below to sign up for that. As for now, let's dive into the NEO chart. All right, so here we have the NEO USD pair. I want to take a look at the NEO USD side simply because Bitcoin is making moves towards the upside. And as it's been doing that, if you guys have been paying attention, whenever Bitcoin starts moving up, the BTC pairs tend to take a hit, at least for now. So I'm not really interested in taking the BTC side of this trade simply because if Bitcoin continues to march up, then NEO BTC should get clobbered if what I'm saying is correct. So I just want to show you guys the comparison between the NEO USD side and what Bitcoin is currently doing. So if you guys look at the NEO chart and the BTC chart over here, they're very, very similar. Their movements are almost identical. Over here, when NEO was at around four or five bucks, Bitcoin was at 3,700. Nothing crazy over there, and it makes sense. But what's different on the Bitcoin chart over here is that it's currently made an extension. It has an extra move in that NEO hasn't really accounted for, which leads me to believe that NEO is lagging behind. Which is why I'm interested in this chart, because if NEO is lagging behind, that means it's got room to run. Now, this is just a working theory I have. I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but I'm willing to take that chance. And you can't make money without taking any risk. So the question is, is this a risk worth taking? Well, let's look at what's going on on the NEO chart so we can understand what is currently going on. So over here, we can see after the crash, NEO was hitting resistance after resistance, and it really formed a upward triangle. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but it makes sense to call it that. And then once we broke out of that, we held the top of the support, a really good sign for NEO. And this right here was a really great entry around this area. If you managed to get it, they gave it to us about once, twice, three, four, five, five times, plenty of time to take an entry over here. We were also supported by the moving averages. We did not break them once except for these crazy wicks towards the downside. And I don't think that happened on other exchanges. It was just on USDC on Binance. So we can remove that anomaly from the equation. So right after we broke out of here, like I said, we held this support, so now we can extend that forward. That is now support. We had a downward triangle that we broke out of. You guys can see we didn't break it too much, just by a little bit, 7%. And right here, this right here was probably the most optimal entry since we got confirmation of a break of a pattern from this little triangle. Now, I'm already in this trade. I managed to get in on NEO around 754 or something like that, somewhere around this area. That's what I noticed that... NEO could give us potential towards the upside. I am now around 20% up and looking for higher targets. I have not yet taken profit simply because 20% just doesn't do it for me. Uh, if the market was a little bit worse, I would probably take some profit here, but it's looking pretty green right now. So I'm really looking to push NEO a little bit higher. I do tend to take profit around the 30 area, and that happens to be around the $10 mark. So you guys can measure that out. That's about 30%. I'm happy taking a portion off of my profits at 30%. But I'm most likely going to push it higher because if you guys pay attention over here on these fibs, these fib retracements, and the course includes a lesson on how to use fib retracements, I break them down quite extensively. So again, if you guys are interested in learning how I'm using these tools, go ahead and check out that course. It's completely free. But as I was saying, we are following these fibs. You guys can see we hit the 236 over here. We have confirmation. We don't have confirmation on the 382, but we do have it over here around 870. Now, we don't have confirmation here in this is akin to what I'm seeing over here. You guys see how we didn't quite touch it? So right there, it's telling me that the next target on NEO is around $10 and we could have a retrace. Another scenario is that we get another retrace down here to around eight to maybe $8 even. And if that were to happen, I, I know exactly where my entry would be, right there. 
that would be a nice entry for me to load up some more because honestly, I don't think I got enough down here. So that's what I'm currently seeing on the Neo chart, and that's my plan. If we happen to go lower, I don't think we're gonna get it simply because a lot of other USD pairs are currently pushing. ETC, I think, blew up today, and I'm thinking Neo could be next. That doesn't mean you should FOMO into this move unless you know what you're doing, and that includes understanding risk management and position sizing. Again, it is included in the course, so if you guys wanna check that out, it'll only benefit you. Now, what I'm really looking on Neo over here is for it to push up to the $11 mark. And this is gonna be a position where I remove most of my Neo holdings because even though it could push to the $13 mark, which I will keep a small stack around maybe 15% of my position on just in case it goes up there. And it's not even that big of a move. It's around 15%. So I'm not completely sold on the idea that I might hold some even because 15% with my holdings right now is kind of negligible. But that might change as we begin to hit these levels because I might start to see something in the chart that gives me a hint that we're going to be actually going higher. So I'm going to have to play this by ear and see how the chart reacts once we get to these levels and adjust from there. But that is pretty much my plan when it comes to NEO USD. Now there are some hints as to what will tell me whether NEO USD wants to make this move, but I'm going to keep that for the private Telegram group members. I can't share all my secrets, so if you guys want to go ahead and have access to that, head on over to my crypto journal and sign up for the Telegram service. I do encourage you guys to take the course first because it will make understanding my charts a hell of a lot more easier. And the information in there will help you plan your trades and understand the risk to reward ratio that I keep talking about in these videos. They are truly important game changing concepts once you understand them. But as for now, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys learned something and enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I do post a video once a week. As for now, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out and take care.